So I'm going to start with this shade and light palette. So I'm going to start with the eyes and I'm picking up this very light grey middle colour here on a rounded fluffy brush and I'm starting to working this in my crease. And I just wanted to lay down this colour as a base so I will have some transition to actually fade in. So I'm just building up that colour and blending and building and blending so just so we get a little depth in the crease. And then I'm going in with this slightly darker grey colour under here as you can see. And I'm starting to building that up in my crease as well. So I'm just more or less taking that colour on top of the lighter grey colour but I'm a little more precise in the crease uh, and, that's, and then blending it upward. Then I'm taking the bone white colour next to the dark grey one and I'm starting to work that in my crease and above, so underneath my brow bone and I just wanted to blend it or out a little bit more also. Then I'm picking up some, I'm using the NARS concealer but you can use anything that you have or any concealer that you have and I'm starting to build this one up on like half my lid, so the inner part of my lid. And this is gonna be the base for the turquoise color that we're gonna use. So you can use MAC Paint Pot if you have that one. I'm using this NARS concealer. And then I'm taking Pegasus, and this is a Makeup Geek foiled uh, eyeshadow. And I'm starting to work that on top of where I put the concealer. And I'm packing it on with my MAC 242 brush, which is my favorite when I'm working with shimmery shadows. That is just a I cannot live without that brush, that is what I can say. And then we're going to build up the outer corner and I want to have some depth, so I want to darken them a little bit. So I'm picking up the black color on a very small precise brush and I'm starting underneath my eye and I'm starting to work the color outwards. And I find it easier to get the right shape if you start from your lower lash line first and then dragging it up. So we want to create like a wing but it's going to be bigger than just a wing liner. And you can see that I'm then from the outer edge just dragging it in until I connecting it with the turquoise part and then I'm just starting to pack on the color you can be sloppy here just packing on some color with a dense brush and then I'm going in with the same black color on a more fluffy brush and starting to pack on a little more color and at the same time I'm also starting to blend it up a little bit towards my uh, crease and also on top a little bit over the turquoise one so I'm just packing on color and blending then I'm going back to the turquoise color, the Pegasus color, and I'm starting to pack it on on top of the black one because we don't want it to be black here. We want it to be fading from very, very bright turquoise to darker. So I'm just packing on and I'm blending and packing on and blending and I'm also going underneath. I'm picking up that darker grey colour that we used on, in the crease and I'm using a more precise but rounded fluffy brush and I'm working it on my lower lash line. And then I'm mixing the black and the dark grey and I'm focusing just underneath where I put the black because I want it to be more like a fading effect, not too sharp. So I'm just blending out a little bit underneath. I'm then taking my Marc Jacobs Twinkle Pop in the colour Frenny. It's an icy colour and I'm putting it just in my inner corner and dragging it a little bit upwards. I have to say I'm not a huge fan of this Twinkle Pops one. They are a little bit dry in, in my opinion, so I needed to use Fix Plus to actually get it to stay and I got some fallouts. And to make that pop even more, I'm going in with Loose Pigment and this is a very icy color and I'm just putting it on top of where I put the Twinkle Pop. With my Too Faced Black liner, I am just going to defend my lash line a little bit, so we're not going to do a like eyeliner or a wing we just want to have some dimension so we just want to put it as close to the lash line as we can and this is also going to make the lashes to melt in even better so we're not dragging it out then i'm taking this mascara that i love it's from Ives rojar and it's a very small brush which i love for lashes today i'm using this dramatic ones from violet voss and uh, after that, I just put some mascara on my lower lash line and we're moving on to the rest of the face. Okay, so let's do the rest of the face. 
I'm gonna go in and contouring and I'm using the Kat Von D shade and light and I'm gonna go in with this like more cool tone color. So I'm just gonna start contouring my cheek areas. And I like to take it up in my hairline. I like to also take it a little bit under my jawline just to make it pop a little bit more. Now I'm gonna blend out the contour a little bit because I, I wanna have it a little bit blended and a little more bronzed. And I'm using the Fusicians Formula bronzer for this. It's called the Sexy Booster Sexy Glow Bronzer in the shade Bronzer. So just on a fluffy brush, I'm gonna go over everywhere I put the contouring. Just very sloppy, I'm not very precise here. Just to make it blendly. Mm, this one smells good. Blend a little bit more and get a more like bronzy feeling to my face. For blush, I'm gonna use my one and only favorite, the NARS Sin. I don't know what Nars did with this blush, but it's just amazing. I think it's working to almost every look. It's like a little more purpley and with like golden shimmers, but it's not like shimmer shimmers. It's more like a sheen. I really love that one. And for highlighter, I'm gonna be very brave today. I'm gonna use the Joer Eyes highlighter. And I have never used this one as a highlighter before on my cheeks. I have only used it as a highlighter, like an inner corner highlighter. So this is the first time I'm gonna try to use it on my cheeks. Because I think that this like very icy dew chromey highlighter will melt in with the like aqua theme we are having here, but we will see. We will see. I'm a little bit... Let's see how this is going. I have always said that this is too much for my cheeks, but maybe not. Actually, when I'm blending it out, I thought it was gonna look more like glittery and too much, but honestly, I like it. Can you see that glow? It's really a glow going on there. I'm surprised. I'm happily surprised. When I put it on, it doesn't look so icy. It's getting more like a peachy. I mean, it's duochromy though, so it's hard to tell. I like to take the highlighter up a little bit here and since we're going a little more for the aqua theme I think it's even more suitable to take it up a little bit. Without putting any extra highlighter I'm just gonna take the, the, the highlighter that is left. I'm just gonna go a little bit over my brow bone here. Just like a little bit of extra glow. For lips I'm gonna keep the lips simple. I wanted to have like an icy glossy lip but not too much. So I'm just gonna line it with a very like nude liner and then I'm gonna go in with this Boxum lip gloss in the color Emma just to have some dimensions on the lips. I don't like so much to go in only with the gloss. I like to line them a little bit. Also because my lips are uneven. I love Boxum lip glosses. They are amazing. This lip gloss is actually duochrome to the look, so it's gonna match the highlighter. I will just put a little bit of highlighter on my cupid's bones. I mean, it's a glossy lip, so I don't need so much, but just, just a little touch, just for that extra oomph. And to seal the deal, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So I'm just spraying it all over my face. I love setting spray. For my dry skin, setting spray is a must have. And then I like to, just before it's completely dry, to just go over a little bit so I don't have any powderness going on. And this is the final look. So this is a very like glammy look um, and uh, I love the colors on my eyes. I have wanted to do a look with this color in what feels like forever. 
So yeah, this is the final look and I hope you guys like it. If you don't have the exact products that I use today, you can copy. There are so many similar products out there, so you can always copy and use whatever you have at home. So I hope you guys like this look that I created today. And if you do like it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Hope I see you guys in my next video. Bye!